Hello there, welcome to today's video for another water bottle. Today we're going to do some temp and bowling. Come on, just one measly bottle. Come on, stuff here. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. All right, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's more me just showing updates from my backyard and a new fertilizer spreader I've got, the fertilizer that I'll be using, the seed update, and also some things that are going on in the backyard and what I'm doing to prevent them or to get them fixed. Just the vlogger. Now, a lot of you guys might not know the story behind my backyard. So I moved here about three, three and a half years ago and it was a dirt pit. There was nothing here. We built the house and I asked them to leave it. And we moved in in Easter, so, uh, what's that? Mind blank. Easter. So we're in about fall. Fall, who calls it fall? We're in autumn. So we moved in about Easter and we're in autumn. So I had all these plans to get the lawn going and that, and then life just sort of got in the way. So I waited the whole winter, then seeded it in the October. I seeded perennial ryegrass and a mix of other grasses. I didn't actually know it was in there. And I thought there was only perennial ryegrass and a bit of fescue in there. Now, to my surprise, about six to eight weeks later, a lot of cooch was popping up in the yard. And I just had ongoing problems with the cooch in my backyard, which you don't really want cooch in your fescue because when you get to winter, it goes dormant and it's brown and all the other grass is green. It just looks a bit ridiculous. So the following year, I did another overseed and I overseeded that with some fescue. And the lawn thickened up nice and looked really good, but I still had that cooch problem. So what I did was, is I tried this little thing that I saw over in America that some people are using this stuff called Fusilade. Now it's not, on the label that you can use it on turf grass, and especially tall fescue, but what I did was, I basically decided that I was gonna give it a go anyway just because I was sick of the cooch in my backyard. Now, obviously there's no results of that left over because I actually killed off the whole yard with glyphosate or Roundup, but there is this little side section over here which I don't look after at all. Shouldn't even be showing you guys this. But that's my side yard just there. And if we ever look closely, next you see all this cooch here, she dead. Now that was from the Fusilade applications. So basically what I did is I applied Fusilade three times, 21 days apart, and it didn't harm the fescue as you can see, but it smashed the cooch. So if you ever have problems in your cool season grass with cooch, try this Fusilade stuff out. Now I got that down from CRT. You can get it from most ag shops because it is actually a farm chemical. It's not registered for turf. So don't go out there recommending it to people just because I've recommended it. But if you are struggling with cooch, in your fescue, it actually does work. Now I did it in summer, which stressed out my fescue to the max. But I knew I was renovating again anyway, so I was just doing a trial thing. Neighbours lawn's finally come out of dormancy. Who do you reckon's been in the race? Anyway, a little quick thing about this as well is, basically, I have a lot of problems with their kike, or their kaiku, whatever you want to call it, creeping into my yard. That's why I put that barrier just there as you can see, but obviously still kaiku is pretty dominant stuff and it still comes underneath. So I still hit that with Fusilade when I see some come up or I just pull it out. So that's a quick tip for you. If you've got kike coming through as well, that will actually stop at your Fusilade. There's other products on the market, but they are flipping expensive. So Fusilade, give it a crack. Oh damn, there must be some stinky nappies in there. Oh. Now if you do have something like Paspalum or summer grass in your backyard, this is just a quick tip because I've struggled with it in the past. Maybe because you seeded just recently and you started to make it germinate everywhere or blah, blah, blah. If you haven't put pre-emergent down, there is post-emergence that will knock it. Um, one I've used before is DSMA Clear. Now there's certain um, grasses that doesn't work on like Queensland Blue Cooch, I know. Always read the label before you use products, but that's the stuff there I use. It's just called Paspalum and Clover Killer here. So this one has some DSMA and some MCPA in it, but you can get just stuff with DSMA in it only. That is basically your uh, your most common one that you can use, or what you can do is get like me and pick it out with a little screwdriver. I remember doing that for days, just picking them out day by day. I remember getting like five or six plastic bags full of just Paspalum in the backyard and it was ridiculous. 
bit over top, so I'm glad I'm using pre-emergent now, and I've had no actual pass palin popping up. Um, one other thing I used to do as well is I have a little punt, paint, punt brush. Punt brush? Oh, let's sound like a kiwi. Which you put weed killer in, or glyphosate. Or Roundup, if you want to call it that. Come on down. You can see the blue marker dye you used to see where I actually painted stuff, but... Is that moldy? Yuck. Anyway, I think it's a Yates one. Yates, the bro. Obviously, you, you open up the cap there, or there even, and you put your product in there, and pretty easy, you just paint it. Check this mad sock tan. Whoa, boy! One thing that I do struggle with quite a bit, and everyone does, you'll find even green keepers doing that, is winter grass. So, that's some winter grass there. Now it's dying because I've been using some Primo Max on the backyard. This is the Primo Max stuff that I use. Legit packaging, no doubt. To help suppress it and just slow the growth down in my yard because it has been growing a bit quick for me to mow. I've been currently mowing three days a week. Well, I lie. I should be mowing it three days a week, but I'm not. So I put a growth regulator on it just to slow it down, so I'm not stressing out the lawn every time I cut it because I cut off too much of the leaf. I also raise the height up to about four inches, so my lawn is long. But anyway, this Primo Max that I'm using, it's a growth regulator, and it's basically starting to suppress this winter grass. I've got quite a bit of yellowing off in quite a lot of areas in the backyard, which is good. So check it out, Primo Max. Give it a go if you haven't before. Hey there, good friend. Next thing I want to talk about is this new spreader they got from Earthway. Oh my gosh, I'm the lawn care nut. You'll get that if you watch the lawn care nut. I've been looking for a decent quality spreader for the last ages. I don't even know how long. And this one came up when I was speaking to one of the guys at work about, one of the chemical reps, about spreaders. So I got this from the guys at Globe Growing Solutions and they recommended this one to me, or recommended these products anyway. But today I'll be using this and I've used it Last week, if you watched last week's video, I used it on Ash's lawn when we seeded it, and I really, really like this spreader. A bit more sturdy, it's got some good wheels. Ah. <laughs> it's just a bit more solid than my old one, my old Scott spreader, which is just here. So let's just fertilize my backyard with this Nutri Plus stuff. If you want to know about that stuff, link in the description. Either way, I don't know, somewhere there. <laughs> finished fertilizing check out them sweats it's only 20 degrees today and I am sweating like a pig for some reason but I'm really keen to see the results of that Nutri Plus stuff it's time to chuck this water on the backyard before it dries out and dies no just make sure you get some water along after you put it out because it can potentially burn so I'm gonna put about 10 mils down the yard I'm just adjusting these bad boys because they're missing a couple of spots in the middle and the way you can tell that is obviously your grass is starting to dry out straight out blue patch. When I say blue patch, I mean it's a sort of grey colour when your yard starts to go dry. So check this out. I don't know if you can tell, but nice and green. Bluey tinge. She's dry. So that sprinkler there isn't actually hitting that section. So I've just got to adjust it. Oh, no! So basically, next thing I'm going to do is show you guys the seed update. So the seed will be... I'll probably go there tomorrow and check it out. Not today. So I seeded it on Saturday last week, today's Thursday, so we'll go tomorrow, so it'll nearly be seven days since we seed it. And I'll show you if there's any baby seedlings popping up. So, let's go the next day. All right, so we're now at Ash's place, and let's just have a look at how the seed is going. So it is five days since we seeded the lawn. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Got some baby seedlings popping up just around here. All right, so just by looking at this, I can see that the spots are a little bit more wet like in the shade just here, there's actually quite a lot of germination. Now the areas that are getting a bit more sun, so over here, are actually struggling a bit with the germination of the seed as well. There's no, like it will still probably come up, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer because it's not been moist as long. Um, I probably would recommend that if you do see dry spots like this, 
maybe to up your watering schedule or get two sprinklers running so you'd actually keep those areas wet as well. And it doesn't help with these ants getting into it as well. Little turds stealing the seed. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait a second. Look at that. There's an ant nest just there and they've got seed all around it. That's where all your seeds go, Ash. So here's the other section of the front yard. I haven't actually found any seed that's popped up yet. But I'm sure there is just hiding. It's hard to tell too when you've got grass all around as well. Until it actually gets a bit more mature. But, I mean, you'll be able to see some next week. Right, we are all done. Thank you so much for watching, guys, as always. And if you enjoyed that video, chuck a thumbs up there somewhere. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you have a good week. Dang it. We have to do something about that. Sprinkles aren't even popping up. Grass is too thick, boy. It's too thick. <laughs>